everyone, it's Fantasia. Welcome back to another Sims 4 discussion video. So this one is going to be about the fact that people are still having so many bugs and glitches. Like I get so many comments about it. For me, it's gotten better. I definitely still experience some things, but the game is a lot more playable for me now. However, that is not the case for a lot of simmers. And you know, I do a whole variety of videos. I do discussion videos, gameplay, mods, everything. Create a sim. I do it all and I will get like random comments on pretty much like any videos out of nowhere about like bugs and glitches. And I'll also get like new comments on videos that I did about bugs and glitches. Even like two weeks ago, people going back to those videos and leaving comments. Like I just got a recent one, like a minute before this video, which was like perfect timing. So yeah, a lot of people are still experiencing these things. So today we're going to be just going through all of these comments. And of course you guys can comment down below any bugs and glitches that you're having. So this one comes from Audrey Brewer. Did anyone else's game stop loading completely after the delivery? I'm on Mac and I know we're moving to the EA app soon. So maybe that's why all my mods are up to date. I know that. And I've tried repairing the game too but nothing. It's just stuck on a loading screen forever. So this is actually kind of crazy. This is recent and this was something that started happening for this person after the delivery, like the Sims Delivery Express that we just got for the hair, which I was under the impression that we wouldn't have like any issues from that. So like, I'm kind of surprised. If you are on Mac, comment down below if you're having the same problem. I mean, even if you're on PC, but it's just interesting. And I am curious if it is due to the switch that's going to be happening for Mac players with the EA app. So Pigeon Plays says they'll do anything but fix the bugs. So I have been getting comments like this, like left and right. People are just so unhappy with the state of the game right now. Then we have this one from Rose 13 Red. My game controllers have been frozen since the Crystal Creations update and I can't play a game I've paid $600 for. Sorry, I feel zero enthusiasm for this update. Honestly, I don't blame you if you haven't been able to play your game and you've spent that much money on it. That is insane like actually insane. So they said here that my game controllers have been frozen since the Crystal Creations update. I think what they mean is just like, you know, everything on the game controls, like the play button, all that. I'm not really sure. This could be anything. Like maybe they can't even click in to go to a new game because they are saying that they literally can't even play the game that they've spent $600 on you guys. Like what? Sundrop Sim says they really do anything except fix the game. So I'm getting comments like this pretty much anytime like the Sims talks about anything, talks about something upcoming. Even the fact that we are getting two kits this month, since this is the last month for the roadmap, a lot of people were even unhappy about this recent SDX drop just because of the timing. Like obviously, usually everyone would be so excited about the new hairs, but it's the fact that they're like ignoring that a bunch of people's games are broken. And when they do try to fix it, it's like still leaving a bunch of issues and they just keep releasing new things. That's what's really bothering people. Complicated Soul says it's like as soon as we get to playing, here comes an update or a kit. I think most of us are over it. Again, like I completely don't blame these people. And that is usually how it goes. You know, we finally will get our games working. Everything will be good. We'll be so excited. And then more content will release and we'll have to go through the same thing over again. So I saw another comment from Rose 13 Red. This says here, the crystal update broke my game and it still doesn't work that well. All my enthusiasm for new packs has been sucked away and I really can't get excited anymore. That brings my heart. Like that just makes me so sad for you. First of all, like the amount of money and everything that people pay for this game and then they can't even load into anything. And then, you know, your favorite game just kind of being ruined. Like all your excitement for it is gone. Like I really hope you get to play soon. And then the comment that I literally got minutes before filming this video comes from Nick Beast. Why can't I get my Sims to use a garbage can? They just place their garbage on the ground even after I sell and buy a whole new garbage can. So I feel like stupid glitches like this has been happening for way too long. I have weird things happen in my game with like the infants and stuff, like not feeding them or like them acting like they can't get to the bathtub, but like the bathtub is completely open. Like literally, even if I delete everything, like they specifically can't get to the bathtub to wash a infant or toddler. It is so weird. So I feel like it's like a similar thing with the trash can. I don't know. It's like they act like they can't put it in the trash can. They'll just like put it on the floor. That would honestly drive me insane. So I'm sorry that's happening to you, but that is the last 
comment. Of course, there's more. It's just like, I didn't want to, you know, grab too many comments from like over a month ago. I wanted to try to grab comments within the last like two weeks. And there was a few that kind of were like the same issue as one another. So that's another thing I've been noticing. Sometimes I'll get a comment about a certain issue and like multiple other people are commenting with the same issue. So I want to know you guys comment down below if you're still experiencing issues. Like at this point, I feel like it's been way too long and I know some things have been fixed, but I feel like it's been way too long now where the game has been in this broken state and it's just weird i shouldn't even say weird because honestly i feel like at this point it's just like expected <laughs> but i mean that doesn't mean it is okay in any means like the fact that we have to expect the game to be broken is definitely a huge red flag but if you're one of the lucky players and you haven't really had anything i am so happy for you like genuinely <laughs> and i do have to say i am very grateful that my game works i've been able to film videos for you guys because for a little bit there i actually wasn't able to i was having a lot of issues so i'm so glad that i can actually record videos for you guys now but with that said i just wanted to do this little video and i did tell you guys i really want to do more videos featuring your guys's comments so feel free to leave comments about anything you're experiencing in your game because i might end up doing a video on it and then your comment will be featured and yeah i do have another video coming soon kind of discussing more uh, not specifically about bugs and glitches but kind of on the same topic that i am we're seeing so much in my comment section so yeah with that said i hope you guys enjoyed this little discussion video let's cross our fingers think positive and hopefully our games that so many of you guys have spent so much money on will actually be playable at least soon within this year like i mean if the game is broken all year for some people that will be so sad i will say before i go i'm nervous about potentially an expansion pack coming next quarter we are about to go into the next quarter april is the last month and then we're gonna get our second roadmap and i'm sure there's gonna be an expansion pack on there and as much as i'm excited i feel like a lot of people aren't because they're just feeling like oh my god it's gonna break the entire game that thought honestly scares me too because it seems like the more expansion packs we get the more they break the game and I mean, it makes sense. There's like too many packs now. But yeah, let me go ahead and just wrap this up here. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.